what's up everyone glock 9 here and welcome back to nightmare 2 house on the hill it is the morning of day five i've got one skill point to spend this morning and i'm gonna put that into grease monkey level one and unlock the bicycle even though i think i'm gonna skip over crafting the bicycle and go right for the mini bike it all depends on how today goes in terms of loot here's the horde base for tonight though i upgraded all this shit to cobblestone put in a couple of hatches right there the hatches need to be upgraded further though i'm out of iron so that's another thing we got to do today mine some iron oh shit uh we better take care of this guy there we go and let's try out the horde base make sure he can detect us down here oh yes he can oh, shit i better fill that in that's where i'm gonna want to stand tonight there we go, upgrade it. And let's get him. The bones and the leather can go into supplies, and the meat and animal fat can go into food. Let's bring our hatches and wrench down. And we're good. As you can see, I put in some additional storage last night and a workbench. And now I need to put in a second forge. I always like to have at least two forges, one for cement and one for ammo. Well, ammo parts. You know, bullet casings and bullet tips. All right, this morning we are headed to the Poppin' Pills to raid that place. And then we're going to finish looting the passing gas across the street. And then, like I said, we need to mine some iron so we can finish upgrading those hatches. And also have some iron on us uh, to repair the hatches and also iron to throw into the forge. Uh, now, what I was saying before about the bicycle and the mini bike, and it all depends on how today goes in terms of loot. There's a couple of full cars that we can take apart by the popping pills. And that is exactly what we're going to do. And if we can come away with an engine and a battery, then I'm definitely skipping over the bicycle and going right for the mini bike. But if we can't get our hands on a battery and an engine today, then I'll probably just go ahead and craft a bicycle. I'm not seeing any threats around. That's good. Here's some iron. We're looking clear up here. So, uh, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and mine some iron now, then. Oh, well, we got a couple zombies that showed up. Let's uh, hold off on mining anymore right now. What we need to do is make a safe room inside the popping pills. Somewhere we can run to if uh, shit really jumps off. What about this room here? I believe there's a door that leads to that room. There is. That could be good. Oh, see that? This guy just spawned in. All right. We got to take him out. Please die, buddy. Oh, thank you for listening. I appreciate that. I want to take a look in this room here. Oh, those footsteps are getting a little too close. There is a zombie. Shit. Others are waking up. We got to do it. Got him. <laughs> with the sneak damage. Oh, down he goes. Now die, you piece of shit. Yes. Put a hatch down. And that's how it's done. Little pharmacy safe room. Pharmacist Glock at your service. Hey, lady. You're gonna have to wait your turn. I got two Skinny Pete's at the door here. Sorry, Skinny Pete's. I don't have any pills that can make you not skinny. Just eat some protein and lift weights, you skinny bitches. No oh, shit. Yeah, fuck you, you string bean. He's dead. All we got is a crawler here. Oh, man. A lot of people wanting their drugs today. I don't blame you. Drugs are awesome. Oh, who's hitting me? Oh, my God. How did you get in here, lady? Shit. Close the door. Fuck. Up on the roof. Oh, man. Where did she come from? Maybe up here. Holy shit. God damn it, lady. Fuck you. All right glitching through everything I didn't bring any first aid with me it's gonna be one of those days oh man there is a zombie up here oh please fall now shit all right there are two up here 
What the hell? No, oh, he's dead. Now you do the same thing. Please. Now. All right. Shit. I might as well loot this crate. Maybe there's something we can use. Uh, bar brawling book. No, I'm good. I'm not gonna fight with my fists. I can barely do it with fucking a bat and firearms. Oh, all right. We need to do something here. I got an idea. Let's get this out of the way. Make some frames. Put one like this. Upgrade it. And then, uh... Oh. I need to make a third one. Upgrade this. And then with this one, we'll uh, turn that into bars. And we'll go like this. Bam. Nah, they can't get up here. Where are they even? Not at this door. Oh. Oh, okay. They didn't break in. We're good. Uh, steroid brass and some shotgun shells. Now, I need first aid. Splints. Splints won't help my sprained arm. They would have helped if I had a broken arm, but I guess, quote-unquote, luckily, <laughs> it's just sprained. There's a first aid bandage. We'll use that. I need uh, an antibiotic also because we're infected. I'll use both of these aloe creams here. I'm pretty confident there'll be enough first aid in this place to get us back to full health. Just need to find it. Another steroid. Some more aloe cream. Take the glass jar. Let's pop this open. A couple of more first aid bandages. I'm gonna hold on to those for right now. Scrap the lead, take everything else. Let's close this door. Got ourselves a little safe room here if we need it. Looking clear. A little bit of sand. Honey, that's good. That'll clear up the infection. I'm good on those bandages. They don't give you any help. They just stop bleeding. While it's clear out here, let's take this bad boy apart. See if we can get what we need. There is another full car that we haven't even searched yet on the other side of the poppin' pills. There's an engine. One thing down. Alright, no battery, but got an engine. I'm gonna take this car apart also. I don't think you can get a battery from a car that's uh, this fucked up, but I'm taking this shit apart anyway. All right, uh, before we go take apart the other car or finish looting this place, let's put some storage down. I always like putting storage down at the front of POIs, just so it's easier when we come back another day to collect all the stuff we left behind. There's a wolf out here. Another aloe cream, I'll use it. We're not going to be able to get to full health until the sprained arm wears off. A little bathroom here. Another little safe room if we need it. Murky water. I'll take the blood bag. Let's see what else we got in here. Ah, use the painkiller, take the first aid kit, that is good. We're almost at full health, like I just said. We, we're not going to be able to get there until the arm heals. Good on that bandage. Let's go uh, eat one of these uh, sham chowders. I just want one. There we go.
Not bad. Let's take this apart now. Hope we get our hands on a battery. With a battery, the only thing we're gonna need is some skill points. There it is. Battery and another engine. Nice. Now we need three skill points. We gotta put two more into intellect, and then we'll be able to unlock the mini bike. And I'm just gonna kill this wolf. Come on, buddy. Oh, got him a second time. Come on to the pharmacy. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck. I thought it was a regular wolf. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it was a dire wolf. Man, today is not my day, is it? All right. Man, we're gonna have so much meat, it's ridiculous. By the time we unlock the, uh, boiled meat recipe, we're never gonna have to worry about food again. Man, it's a good thing I left some 9mm rounds back at home. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any left for the horde. Hey, there's some more. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Oh, we got a spider zombie here. Come on in! Oh, die, you piece of shit! Alright. Rough day today. Alright, that's what I'm leaving behind. I'm probably taking with me more than I need. But, uh, we'll be alright. I've got a couple of steroids on me. And I do plan on using them. Good on the rotten flesh. I will definitely take the gas. Let's go ahead and use one of those steroids now. And we'll drink some water. Because those things dehydrate you. Let's see what we got in here. Ah, SMG turret schematic, uh, basic sensor schematic, uh, level 1 battery, and some electrical parts. I'll probably scrap that level 1 battery for the lead. Check the vending machine. It is working. Hey, sugar butts, I'll take one of those. Oh shit drops? Nah. Don't need one of those right now. Hey, little buddy. Time to die. Now, let's close this door, put another hatch right here. We'll have ourselves a little safe room here at the passing gas. Okay, what do we got? Anything good? Some lead. Might as well go ahead and scrap that battery then. Nice. We got more waking up, though. They're definitely down below there. I can wait. I can wait all day. Come on, you damn zombies. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, it's not much of a safe room now, is it? All right, well, it's working, even with the windows broken out. And I know I could fill them in, but it's more fun if I don't. Here's another one. Let's knock this pallet out of the way, and we'll deal with him. Yeah, you just stay at the window, buddy. Even though you can go around and come in the back way, it's much better for me if you stay here. Oh, uh, here we go. Into the not-so-safe room. Oh, shit. Come on. Now die. Nice. Man, we gotta get the hell out of here. 
feel like we should just go home now. We're pretty much done here. What the hell were we doing? Oh yeah, the workbench. There we go. Got a crate up here, and then we have a chem station in the back. I'd like to search and take apart, and then we'll get out of here. Hey, bicycle handlebars. We'll just sell those. Because I'm definitely skipping the bicycle. Fuck that thing. Um, we should have the skill points after the horde tonight to unlock the mini bike. Get that thing crafted for tomorrow. I'm good on the golden rod. All right, let me grab some clay soil real quick. We're going to need some to craft the second forge and also to smelt down in the second forge. All right, let's get out of here. We've pushed our luck far enough today. Go ahead and take another steroid. And run my ass home. Oh man, thank God we're skipping the bicycle. Because even with that thing, it's such a pain in the ass to get up and down this hill. Alright, home sweet home. Let's craft another forge. All right, we can put that mod on our stone axe for now. And we'll put the silver in our cell chest. And we got a little more 7-6 too. All right, now skill points. We've got two of them. I'm pretty sure we got to put both of them into intellect because we got to get it to level four, I believe, to unlock the mini bike. Yes, level four. Okay, done. Now we just got to level up one more time and we can unlock the mini bike. I'm sure we'll get there during the horde. Here we go. Now, fingers crossed they find their way down to me and don't just destroy my damn house. I hear them. Come on. Yes. All right. Oh, <laughs> amazing. We may have inadvertently created the funniest horde base ever. I hope they all just fall down. Oh my God, they are. That's hilarious. Oh shit. Fuck you, Kenny. Come on, I'm trying to enjoy myself. You bastard. Alright, well, it appears they're making their way down the steps into this window. I don't know if this is the whole horde, though. Let's get some fire going. There may still be some upstairs attacking the house. Shit. This is not good. They're either stuck on something or... Oh! Okay, close that hatch. Here we go. <laughs> Another round. Seriously, though. They're either stuck on something up above or... Some of them have just decided to, to beat the house. They could be trying to beat their way into this elevator shaft. You know, to get above me. That's not good if that's what they're trying to do. Oh, I should take this recog. Might as well, right? I brought one. Let's use it. Nice. Come on down, you pricks. Stand up, Mo. Stop being a little bitch. Okay. Well, there are no signs of zombies above me, but there are also no zombies at the doorway. Oh, I hear them. Here we go. Now they're dropping in. Oh, another skinny feet. Slowly but surely. Oh, you little bastard. You dead? He's dead. Oh, well, let's go see what the hell's going on.
I hear them. Here we go. Oh, are they stuck on the fence? I don't know what they're stuck on, but... It's not working out as seamlessly as I planned. Um, they could be beating... Here they come. <laughs> Some of them could be beating on the back side of the house, though. That's where they spawned in. And I'm down here. They Sometimes they're not smart enough to just run around the house. Get the fuck out of here. You know, and, and, and their path thing gets screwed up and they decide, I'll oh, just beat on the house then. You know, so that's what could be happening. We're not going to know for sure until we walk the perimeter of the house. All right, let's go again. I mean, this has got to be getting towards the end of the horde anyway. It's only day five. I hear more, though. Dead. Dead. Oh, shit. All right. We're going back down. Yeah, they got to be stuck on the back of the house. It's got to be what's happening here. Oh, damn it. Really? I didn't bring any fucking first aid with me. Can you believe that shit? I mean, I can believe forgetting it this morning and not taking it out with me, but I had so much time to prepare for tonight and I forget to bring it with me. Hey, you got any first aid in there, buddy? Got some food. I'll eat that. All right, we're going again. I hear them. It sounds like they're in the house. Shit. Tell me this whole base idea and design is just fucked from Jump Street. She came out of there? Damn it. Did that stripper fall? Or did she come out of the doorway? If she came out of the doorway, that means they're in the house and they're in the elevator shaft. I doubt it, because they'd be attacking me right now. She must have fell when I wasn't looking. All right, let's go. We got to check the house. They didn't beat their way in uh, through, like, the garage there. That's all sealed up. It sure sounds like they're in the house, though. Oh, my God, they are. Oh, shit. Fuck. How'd they get in the house? Through the back? I bet you through the back. Is that it? That is not it. Nope. He might be it. Alright, let's deal with him. Alright, how'd they get in the house? Maybe through this back door here? No, I mean, they're working on it. There's one out there still. Come on, lady. We gotta seal this door, maybe. Or upgrade it. A lot. Oh, thank you. Alright. Some more 9mm, that's good. 554 bucks. I like that. Yeah, this is a problem. It's a big problem. One that might be solved by just upgrading the house. How the fuck did they get inside, though? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to move all the rest of my health items from the food crate. I'll do that later. Um. Well. 
let's walk the perimeter, see what other damage they might have done, and see if we can find where they got in. Because they, they didn't spawn in there. There's no way they spawned in the house. They didn't do much damage here. Ah, oh, here we are. This is how they got in. All right, these fucking steps here. Screwed something up in their pathing. Okay. So. I think we can keep the base as it is, you know. Funnel them down into the bunker that way. But we got to get rid of all the shit around the house that they could get stuck on. And we got to upgrade the house as quickly as we possibly can. So they don't beat on the house and they go right for the ramp. Other than that, I think we can continue down the path we are on in terms of the base. Just a lot of work is needed. But now that we can craft ourselves a mini bike, we can get around a lot faster. Look at that, one point, let's unlock it now. This is gonna help us, you know, manage our time better. Get around faster, loot things faster, mine resources faster, so it's all good, I think. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.